All right, guys, I thought I'd come with you this week with a tadpole video. These are Whistling Tree Frog tadpoles. Now, look at them, super cute, super small. You've got three medium-sized ones and one little runt. Now, with tadpoles, very, very basic care, but also you have to be mindful and you have to keep an eye on them. So what I mean by that is, and also, guys, just by scale, Look at this, look at my hand. Whistling tree frog tadpoles are tiny compared to your golden bell or your southern bell tadpoles, which are, can get up to the size of your thumb or the length of your thumb, whereas these guys are super small. Now, tadpoles can be kept in an ordinary fish bowl. They can be kept in plastic terrariums, in a glass jar, in a fish tank, wherever you need. They just need plenty of oxygen weed or aquatic plants, some stones, maybe a piece of driftwood. You can have substrate, but you don't need to. Often, the most common thing is just a flat glass floor just so you they can get access to their food easily now these guys love eating uh, vegetation they like eating plants they like eating uh, cucumber and zucchini slices they eat fish food you want to keep no more than i guess 10 to 20 or even 30 together because they can become carnivorous as you can see i've created a nice little glass jar super simple for these four these guys will be okay in here for at least a month i've got a big clump of java moss there's some snails in there and they will be fed Cucumber slices, zucchini slices, and maybe some fish food flakes. But otherwise, here we go. Now I'm using a teaspoon to gently put these guys in. So you can see, dropping one in one by one. So hopefully they uh, do okay in here. Now with tadpoles as well, I guess the idea is, especially with stagnant or still water, you want to be doing regular water changes. So I'll be doing about a 20 to 30 percent water change with fresh bottled water or spring water or filtered water not tap every two to three days and probably a good solid 50 percent once a week just so they make sure you have clean fresh water now you see the water that they're in it's got that yellow dinge that yellow color now that's come out of tank water so that's generally not great you want it to be nice and fresh clean water all the time so i've probably left that tank water a little bit too long but if they've come out of a pond and that totally makes sense uh, a lot of people keep Obviously, they have tadpoles in ponds or big big bales or big buckets of water outside or even I've seen wine barrows. But as you can see, super cool, super cute. Uh, whistling tree frog tadpoles will now hopefully morph over time into little tiny whistling tree frogs. So I'm super excited to show you guys the journey of these four slowly morphing or hopefully these four. With tadpoles, it's a 50-50. But otherwise, guys... Like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Let's watch these guys slowly transform into little whistling tree frogs. Stay tuned for the next one.